Hey there, in this video we're gonna do a quick unboxing and review of this uh, special router. I call it VPN router. The reason I call it VPN router is you can customize VPN settings right inside the router so that any clients that are connected to this router gonna have a VPN service. So let's start with unboxing and I'll explain a bit more. So you get startup menu and very short instructions. In the box you're gonna have the actual router itself. I really like the size. It's very compact and has two antennas built in. You'll get USB 3, LAN WAN and USB-C port which you use to power up this device. Get a mode toggle switch, reset switch, and the light output right here. Comes with one Ethernet cable. Power adapter, which one side is, I believe, AC power. 110 to 220 volts. And this side is like USB-C. Which is actually a good feature because if you travel overseas you should be able to use this I'd assume everywhere in the world. Maybe there are a couple exceptions. Obviously here living in the US we're gonna use this one. Just like that, that's installed. If I didn't mention before, name of the brand is GLINET. And this one is GLMT3000. I believe there is about five, five or so different routers. There are two currently that are high end. This one and another one that's black in color. This one I believe cost about hundred, hundred ten dollars right now. If they have one for forty bucks and one for like hundred ten, one for seventy, seventy five. So generally, if you're gonna get one, you'll spend anywhere between forty and hundred ten dollars as of right now. So this device can be used as Wi-Fi repeater, Wi-Fi extender. I'm not gonna use it for that. I think for those purposes you can just use any other router. What I'm gonna use it for is for my research testing. I currently have in my little cybersecurity lab Windows computer, Linux. I'll do some more research with uh, Apple devices and Generally, for some research, it'd be better to use VPN instead of regular internet from home network. And this will help me to have a separate network that would be attached to my regular home network. And I'll be able to use all those uh, devices I have to wirelessly connect to this and have VPN connection right away instead of have app in each of those. Put your credential there and go through VPN that way. I'll just use this device. Another good reason to use this device is if you go to a hotel and you want to use guest Wi-Fi for multiple devices, it's also going to be a lot easier to just connect this and then have all your devices use this router instead of each device connect to the guest Wi-Fi separately and then again on each device logging into your VPN app that way. So I'll do a couple of uh, tests. I connected this one here. I'll try to use this router to connect to my home network. And then I'm gonna do some testing. I'll connect my laptops through Wi-Fi and then through Ethernet cable and I'll do a couple of network speed tests. I'm able to see the network here. Click connect. Type credentials that are in the back of the router. Set so connected, you're gonna go to 192.168.81. That's where you'll be able to set up your router. From here I set up new password. So here it lists all the options. First one is Ethernet, that's where we have to plug in physical cable. The repeater is currently disabled, disabled, but with repeater it's just gonna extend the coverage and I'd rather not use that, I wanna have a new network. Tethering is with a smartphone device. 
which I'm not gonna use here too, and also cellular, we also, we not gonna use that this time. So let's connect Ethernet cable. As soon as we plug the Ethernet cable and connect it, we have upgrade reminder, and we're gonna do the upgrade now. So I had the router now for about a month, maybe even two months. Never had any issues with that, never had to reset it or restart it. So let's do now the speed test. I'll start by using a desktop computer that has a wired Ethernet connection. And I'm gonna do a test in comparison between my Asus Wi-Fi 6 router and my GLINET router. So let's start with the Ethernet wire connection. This is the Asus router, Wi-Fi 6. Now I'm gonna manually plug in the GLINET Ethernet wire into this computer and see what speed that's gonna give me. I'm gonna check this one. Definitely less, but still pretty good. Now let's look at Wi-Fi. Sure. We're Linux system here, and on this computer I won't be able to test 5G because I don't have Wi-Fi adapter that have that capability, so it's just a regular 2.4G. And first test is using Asus Wi-Fi 6 router. Now I'm gonna connect to GLINET and see what speed gonna be there. It's on GLINET connection now. I will do testing on uh, Apple MacBook Air M1. First I'll use router ACES with 2.4 gigahertz uh, bandwidth. Switching to 5G. Definitely faster, now I'm gonna switch to the GL line at router. I'll start by using 2.4 gigahertz uh, bandwidth. I think it's pretty good, let's switch to 5G. I think speeds are pretty good, considering it's not my IP address, it's using NordVPN. So we did tests on macOS, on Linux. We also did tests on desktop, but it's also Microsoft Windows. Let's do this test, it's a 5G Wi-Fi 6. We use Asus router. Speed is really good on this one. Let's do this test with a regular 2.4G connection that's using Asus Wi-Fi 6 router. Now we're connected to a GL iNet. That's a normal 2.4G connection. Now switch to 5G. Definitely not as fast as with Asus Wi-Fi 6 router, but GLINET is still pretty fast, especially if you look at its size. I guess we could also test iPhone. It's gonna be iPhone 13 mini. It's gonna be using Asus router 2.4G. That's pretty bad. Just restarted this iPhone, let's see if it'll make a difference. Definitely made a difference. Looks like Spectrum has issues with server. So that was 5G, this is rather now the regular 2.4. Pretty good, let's switch to GLINET. This is GLINET 5G. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get to 2.4 
50 gigahertz on uh, iPhone for whatever reason not sure why but I didn't see that option on a screen of networks on iPhone but that's end of all my testing as far as speed goes in reality it is definitely slower than this Wi-Fi 6 Asus bigger router but this one keep in mind it's like a pocket size and more for travel but still I'm pretty pleased with the speed and also like I say I used it over a month I never had connection drop I never had to reset or restart the router which is definitely a good thing I'll leave you Amazon affiliate link in the bottom of this video of this router and a couple others that GLINET sells if you have any questions let me know leave comments in the video and I'll try to reply as soon as I can thanks for watching see you next time